Okay, so today we're going to be showcasing the newly easy aid Grandpa Gohan and Pan card. Now, I, like many others, did not expect to get this card easy aid at any point in 2021, really. Um, you know, the schedule was this card was going to be after Great Saiyan Man and then Great Saiyan Man and this card got an easy A. So that was quite interesting. So it makes me wonder what they're going to do for the for this upcoming Halloween. But anyway, we're going to go through the card's details and everything like that. Since you probably don't even remember what the TUR did, even did. So, the stats are now 12,761 HP, 13,824 attack, and 8,572 defense. Really good stats right there, as per usual for any EZA free-to-play card. Uh, they are now the Kamehameha category for 3 key and 77% stat boost, as well as STR types. 50% and 3 key. The Kamehameha lead, like specifically the Kamehameha category leader that they do provide is the best that free-to-play has to offer. But within the Kamehameha category, there are obviously better leaders in there, such as the LR Prime Battle Goku. For the super attack mechanic, they raise attack and defense for one turn, which is really good, especially the raise defense. And then for the passive skill, they get attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Great chance of an additional attack plus 100%. Defense plus 50% for each super attack performed up to 100%. 3 key and an additional attack and defense plus 50% when there's another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn and they're able to recover HP with candy. Of course, Easy A means their link skills and categories do not uh, change. With the uh, team, we're going to be obviously running Goku's family here. So we're always activating the passive and we got a good 120% leader with the Goku and Gohan. And then we're using the new GT Goku for the Goku's family, 150% stat boost. So let's jump into things here. We are doing the uh, new GT Goku event. Since you get to verse physical at the end. So that will be a very good showcase. Um, I really like what they did with this card for the EZA. Uh, definitely on the better side than uh, some of the other ones. So, of course... The defense with each super attack was the main big change that I really liked. It's only two super attacks until you get their max defensive stat, which is really, really good. Unlike Yamu and Spofovich, that takes like, what, how many attacks in order to get max defense stat? Uh, you can get this max defense stat from these. Whoa, three million attack stat on the first attack. They must have gotten everything there. 100%. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so after two supers, they got their max defensive stat. It might not be as high, I think, compared to maybe Yamu Spofovich. I don't really remember Yamu Spofovich's max defense. Um, but because of their raised defense as well after the super attack, they are, I'm pretty sure, pretty tanky enough. Um, and also they get the additional attack and defense plus 50%. When you're versing Goku's family, which is really, really good. Uh, we'll go like this. This is my first time using this Goku here. So, super excited. See what he can do. This is only 55%, so not the highest there. Uh, and then, yeah, so other than, like, numbers changing, that's really all it did in terms of the EZA. But, um, before the EZA, it was 20% defense for each super attack performed up to 80%. So that's four turns, pretty much, if you don't get uh, additional super attacks. Uh, which can be pain, because, you know, that's... If you are doing that and he appears on the second turn, uh, that's eight turns in order to get the max defense stat with no additional super attack. Of course, additional super attacks will increase the speed a lot. Uh, then you also got to consider the fact that um, when you're floating them out, because sometimes they're not a card that you are going to be putting in the floater spot, 100%. That is not the case. Uh, they are definitely a card that's floating because one, in Goku's family, they don't really have the best links that you'd probably want for top tier Goku's family uh, team. You no, know, you want like Super Saiyan and like stuff that usual Saiyans tend to share. Like Old in the Family is good though, I will say. Old in the Family and Kamehameha, those two are really good links, but still not good enough, I feel like, to put into the main rotation. Uh, 98,000 defense. I don't... Uh, did we only do one super attack? I think we did. So we get one more defense boost after this. As you can see, the RNG does hurt, though. Uh, the great chance of attack plus 100%. When it doesn't happen, it's 
you lose over a million attack damage, attack number, power. <laughs> so that does suck in a way, uh, but that was how the card was originally, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Like, I was disappointed then, I was dis I'm disappointed now. But yeah, it did get some of the good changes that I would have liked to see if I was to make the EZA. Of course, if they delayed it for an extra year, it would have definitely been a much stronger card because the meta changes as, as Dokkan ages, of course. So, you know, waiting another year, it would make more sense and, you know, the card would be definitely better. But yeah, it's still, at the end of the day, it's not going to be a character or a card, per se, that you'd use a lot. Um, unless you're using Ultimate Clash and you need a Kamehameha leader, or... I don't know, you're making this wonky join forces team, maybe? Uh, we're gonna use the active skill. This is probably the only time we get to see P-Pan next to... Or in the same rotation as the Gohan and Pan. Alright, so... Uh, 131,000 defense. Very good. And I have no idea if the attack passive is going to activate here. Or if it is activated. But after the super attack, that means... You know, you get, a, like, 160,000 defense with the free-to-play team. Um, so really, very solid. Very solid. Of course, you don't usually put him in the first slot like I did. Or you're taking a lot of damage like I just did. That's not ideal, but just to show you how much they tank, I guess. Actually, how's this Goku looking? 90,000? Yeah. So as you can see, like, better than a 55%. GT Goku. <laughs> and unfortunately, we did not get the active skill. Uh, we'll go like this. And I'm just going to use a bomber for the extra attack power. Why not? Spice things up just a little bit. Good OST as well. Very. Brings back memories. This is going to actually hurt. <laughs> now that I think about it. Woo! 224,000! Do we even survive? I hope so. That Goku is not tanky. Wow, I didn't think this GT Goku would be that strong of an event. Oh, we survived. I think. After this Gohan at attacks, we should be tanking double digits. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Defense, 90,000. What fluctuated there? I actually don't know. Um, let's grab the orbs. I think this will be the last super attack, unless it doesn't do too much damage, which is very unlikely. Just pop an Android 8 so we can survive. 190,000. Hopefully we got the passive activated. Here we go. What do we get here? We should get over 3 million. No, we did not. So I don't think everything activated there. But 1.6 mil damage. Very, very strong. Don't know where you're going to use him, but it's a good upgrade. We'll take it. Uh, one day he will be usable for me. I'm sure I'll find a way. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Check out all my social medias down in the description to follow me outside of YouTube. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video as per usual. Uh, until the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.